Today, June 1, 2013, marks the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Today, June 1, 2013, marks a significant spiritual and historic hurricane in the district of Hillside. Members of the Seaforth Seventh-day Adventist Communication Team journeyed to Hillside to capture and record significant aspects of the first Sabbath services after the Big Tent Crusade and to talk with members of the community. Come, follow us. This is the premiere of the Talk About Jesus people's program today we are in the beautiful community of hillside at this at our first church service at the hillside primary school hillside is the community where we recently concluded our signs of the time gospel campaign with evangelist lassell's foresight today with me i have evangelist lassell's foresight and a sister wendy white evangelist Tell us, in a few words, how would you describe the Gospel series? Well, the Gospel series is a wonderful series. We started in April and we, we ended in, in May, the first week of May. It was a beautiful series. The, we, we were able to witness to most of the community. Uh, over 100 visitors attended the campaign though they didn't attend it um, constantly but when we look at the names of those we had over 100 visitors attended we closed the campaign baptizing seven precious souls for the Lord Jesus Christ wonderful wonderful now tell us sir what are the short terms or long term plans that you have in store that c 4 has has in store for Hillside? Well, every week a, a, a group of brethren from Seafort um, come over in visiting, visiting those who were baptized and those who, were, who came close to getting baptized and didn't. So they are visiting them. Today is a very special day for us because we are resuming, as it were, worshipping over here. You see, we had started over here for a while and it never lasted. But this time we are hoping that we can gain a good foundation in this community so that we can build this congregation over here into a church. Yes, so that, that's some of the plans that we have for Hillside. Now, Sister Wendy White. Sister Wendy White is one of our newest members who, baptized, who got baptized in the campaign. Sister Wendy, I understand that you are one of the new, the new converts. Tell us, how, what, how do you feel? What is the feeling you have about this new life that you have taken up? It's a wonderful feeling. I feel so good. I want others to share the feeling with me. Words cannot explain how I feel right now and how I felt during the crusade. Okay, well, I get to understand that you are already taking souls to the altar. Tell me about it. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Um, because of the feeling I had and still have, I want others to share in that. So I take them to the altar for prayer and see if they can feel the feeling and share what I am sharing. Wonderful. Well, you've heard it for yourselves. But right now, we're going on the streets to hear what the people have to say. It's Voice of the People with Tyreek and Monique. This is VOP, Voice of the People. I'm Monique. And I'm Tyreek. Today we are in the streets of Hillside to hear the views of the people. So, let's go and hear the, the voice, voice of, of the, the people. How do you feel about the reopening of the Adventist church in the community? Well, 
I feel good about it because most people can't afford to go outside of the community to go to other churches. So it's a good thing. At least we can go there and we can start attending church over here and go home and then go back. That means the plan to attend, right? Yes. Um, I feel good because more than half the taxi goes again. So do you plan to attend? Yes, so I'm going to go to work. Uh, I'm glad about it. Because we have to go far instead of come to see for it will be better from here. Mm. So will you be attending the church? At all time. I feel alright because we need an Adventist church in our community because there are two Sunday church. So will you be attending the church? Yes. Well, I feel very good because it's um, the Adventist church is the best church because Christ said we must keep the seventh day holy. Okay, so will you be attending the church? Yes. What effects do you think the signs of the time gospel campaign had on your community? Get people baptized and get people married and make people believe in God. It was good. Well, it is alright because the community learn more about God and me also. Well, for me, I would say it have a good effect because they got five lives. And not more, not many crusades come over here and people baptized, so they delivered. Um, the signs of the time gospel campaign, it was a good effect because our evangelist Lassen's foresight, he preaches very good and the campaigning team, they come out in the community and help him to evangelize to the other people to tell them about God and tell them that the seventh day is the best. So you've heard it for yourselves. The people are excited about the church being reopened. So until next time, this is C4 SDA TV signing out. Seven. E means seven. And if God says Jordan, he means Jordan. And if God says this, he means this. God is not an info. Our Ramoja, he is the person who means what he says and says what he means. As the communication team journeys back to Seaforth, we beg you to be aware that this spiritual hurricane settling in Hillside has no season, will not cease. So, be prepared to join God's army as we see Satan's camp demolished by the spiritual winds of change.